Hey everyone, and welcome to the tutorial series for the procedural CD generator. In this short video, we'll be taking a look at how to add more than one CD to your level. And it's actually going to be fairly simple. We're going to create three different cities in the same map. We're going to connect them via highways, and then we're going to generate each city's road network. Something I haven't addressed on the quick start guide, but something that might be of interest to a lot of you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into Unreal. And all I've done here, by the way, is create an empty level called Level Test. And I've added uh, all of my regular uh, scene components under one folder. And I've come here and I've only clicked on this button, Spawn Scene Blueprints. That's what you see here, right? The goal here is to have more than one city in the scene. So let's go ahead and make this really, really obvious. And let's create our first city and call it City 1. Click on Create City. And you notice that immediately there's a folder called City underscore City 1 with the, with the uh, base blueprint here. Uh, and we're going to be doing this in the middle. So I already have a little hotkey for that. That's going to be number two for me. And then I'm going to spawn our city limits. And we're going to see that we have our city limits here. So we're going to spawn our road connector here. And let's go ahead. I always like three. Um, so let's go ahead and spawn another one here. And another one here. You can make any shape you want. And then we're going to now scroll all the way back up. And I'm going to click on the top level blueprint here, city one, which everything is parented to. And now I can easily move my city down. So you can see here, and it drags everything at the same time. I'm going to go ahead and create another city. Let's call this city two, click on create city. Notice that now we have another city with another folder. See how I'm keeping everything organized. I'm pressing two on my keyboard to zoom in again, spawn my city limits for city two. But now instead of having a square, just to keep things interesting, let's change the shape. So I'm going to click on mark, uh, marker visible so we can actually see the shape. And here on bound scale box, let's make this small like 200 by 200. And let's go for a cylinder shape. Why not? Let's make this 2000 by 2000. So you can see that now we have a circular shape. Let's spawn our road connector. And let's move one of them down. Spawn our road connector again. Let's move this guy here. And spawn a road connector again. And let's move this guy here. We'll do the exact same thing. Uh, go all the way back up. Click on City 2, that's the top level blueprint. And again, we're just going to move our entire city to a different part of the map right here. And yet again, let's create another city. City 3, Create City, Spawn our city limits. I'm going to click two of my keyboard so we can zoom in here real quick. And actually, I am going to, let me just move the city a little bit more, City 2. There is no overlap. There we go. And for CD3 here, let's zoom in here and let's spawn our road connector. We're going to grab this guy here. And we're just going to put this guy here and here. Doesn't really matter where. Oh, um, and let's make our CD limits a different shape. Again, to keep things interesting. So in this case, Let's make it a triangle, a triangular. So let's do like a thousand by a thousand. Yep. And now knowing that, let's try to align. Let's see if we can, this one's fine. This one, let's align it a little bit more to this side. So we get that shape. Actually, let's make this a little bit more like a triangle. And this one, let's move it around here. Let's go ahead and move our entire city three all the way here. And for good measure, <clears throat> let's grab our city one and move it a little bit here. So now we have three different cities. And you'll notice now, let's go ahead and click on save all. 
that they all have different shapes. You can do the different sizes. We have here a current CD selected, that's CD3, which is the triangle, but there's a drop down actually, and I can freely change which CD I'm working on. So I can go back to CD1, for example, and I can generate my roads. So if I click on generate connecting roads, really far up. you can see that my rows are generated here and i am working on city one right the same thing so you can quickly switch between the different cities as you're building your roads buildings props etc um, but we're going to do something different that we haven't done before and it is to actually generate our highways so let's grab our city limits here and hide the shape so it's easier for us to see and what we're going to do is the idea here is that the highways are connecting the cities via the roundabouts, but you have to explicitly tell the spawner which roundabouts you want to consider for uh, highways. So what I typically recommend is that you have one roundabout that is going to act as the, as the uh, connector to other cities, as the highway connector. So in this case, I'm going to click on this one here because it seems to be the closest to these two. And I'm going to come here and select use for highway. Then for this city, I'm going to use this one here. Use for highway. And for this one, city three, I'm going to select this one right here. Use for highway. And now that we have these three selected, one per city, then I can come back here and click on generate highways. And notice now that we haven't seen this before. Now we have actual highways connecting the roundabouts for each individual city. Notice also that the highways are not affiliated with cities. They are their own folder here because the whole point is the highways are only used to connect different cities. Now that we have that and we have our highways, now we can go back and generate our connecting roads. And in this case for city one, and again, look at the colors. And then I can go back and say, okay, generate main roads and look at how everything's connected, generate minor roads. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on the generation here, guys, because the whole point of the video is just to show you how things connect. So we're not gonna try to make it really nice. I'm just gonna generate this one. Then I can say, let's go back to now city number two, which is right here and do the same thing and generate connecting roads, generate main roads, generate side or sorry, minor roads. And you can see how things are generated here. Oh, taking a little bit longer there. And then finally, let's go to city number three. And again, connecting roads, main roads, and let's just do minor roads. Let's reset the batch, generate minor roads. <clears throat> There you go. And of course, I could do the same thing for side row school to sack. So you guys already know the process. But the whole point is that now we have three different cities. Notice the shape here. Rectangular, circular, and uh, I guess more like a triangle here. Uh, they are full scale cities. Um, and I would do the exact same things as I've done before. Um, then you can come here and say select highways. And then you would remove the construction mode and notice that we have the highways now which are even broader with this little uh, middle part here and then we'll go and select all the different roads and that is pretty much it guys that is the idea on how you create more than one city in your scene and you connect them via highways i'm going to cut it short here uh, because everything else should be pretty self-evident uh, the main key thing here is, again, use the drop down to work on your specific city and make sure that you mark the roundabout specifically with the tag used for highway and you will get the highways generated here. 
One last thing and one last tip I'll, I'll say here is if you go to advanced settings, I have two different uh, spawn methods for highways, minimal and inclusive. The default is minimal and it's basically uh, only one highway will connect to one connection at a time. In other words, if we have more than three, like a fourth city here, not every city will try to connect to every other city. Uh, they will only have one highway connection between two roundabouts. If you wanted something more complex, you can then use inclusive and then every city will try to connect to every other city. So if you have five cities and you're trying to go from this city to any other city, then there's going to be a connection to every single city. That's going to make it a lot more complex. Um, so this is why I have minimal as a default, but that, that is an option right there if you need it. All right, guys, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Join our Discord. We're pretty active. And if you need to email me, uh, here's my email right here on the presentation. Studios at gmail.com. Thank you guys for being so patient. I know that I am trying really hard to get these tutorials out, but I don't have as much quiet time um, as I would like. So I am getting them out there as, as often as I can. In the meantime, I am actively supporting you guys on Discord on email, so feel free to drop me a message. And any other suggestions you have, please make sure that, um, that you leave your comments. This is still, again, considered early access. A um, lot of polish um, still needs to be, um, to be added to the product, but uh, it's always good to hear what you guys have to say. So, All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video.